Hello and welcome Aries. This is your March 2022 general reading. You are watching Thomas's tarot page. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. Really, really important because that helps me grow the channel. And um, now that you're watching this video, please, please, please share it widely. Even if you feel, well, not all of my friends are on my Facebook page, for instance, uh, are Aries. Doesn't matter. Please share it anyway, because the more people uh, the guides can reach, the more advice the people can actually get, which is why this is a free service. So please, please, please help me out here by sharing the video. Anyway, we're looking at the months of March. In March, we're in the sign of Pisces, um, and therefore the energy, the Piscean energy, is strong. And Pisces is governed by Neptune. Neptune is the um, the god of the seas, so this is all about water, therefore it's all about renewal, therefore it is all about emotions, because Neptune's job is to literally awaken your spiritual awareness, right? So um, maybe have a look where in your birth chart Neptune actually set when you were born, because that will be the time uh, of year where your emotions go into overdrive. If that makes sense. Anyway, so we're looking at the overall energy for the months ahead, for the sign of Aries, before we go into the um, em your, your emotional core, see what, what, what can go, uh, and see maybe there's love coming in, all that kind of stuff, before we then go into opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of March 2022. This is for the sign of Aries. So, let's uh, dive right in here. Interesting, Aries. <laughs> Overall energy. You have the cat and the butterfly. And the cat is literally saying to you, you know, detach yourself a little. Do your own thing. Don't be too, mm, too involved in other people's issues this month, right? Pay attention to your own wants and your own needs, especially to your own wants. Because you have the, the domesticated cat as the incoming energy and the cat is going like, I decide what I do with the day, right? And I meet you for cuddles, and I meet you for food on my terms. <laughs> so all I'm getting here is for, for Aries um, is to understand that in March 2022, because it is a, it's an emotional month, because the Pisces energy is all about emotions, and it is the strongest energy because it is the energy of the month for all star signs, so to speak. So in your case, they're asking you to also walk away from stuff um, as best you can. That doesn't mean you have to walk away for good, but you know, cats need their freedom and stuff, which is really important. And the reason why you should be doing this is actually not just to be not or no longer burdened by whatever is going on, but to also reflect on it, because your next and your final animal guide for the overall energy is the butterfly. And so therefore, they're saying to you two things. Number one, Whatever doesn't work, you have the right to move on, okay? And second thing is, you need to be grounded. You need to be really grounded to make whatever changes come your way truly work for you. The more emotional you get about stuff, the more difficult it is to deal with things for you. Now, that's easier said than done, because the problem that you have is being Aries, which means you are the very first sign and energetically speaking as the very first sign you will have other people come to you for advice not so easy for aries sometimes to actually reach out to someone right um so sometimes aries you feel like you're you're, you're rather on your own in situations um which is just a, an imprint a character trait that you just have because you are the first sign right so if you're interested in in, in your astrology report um, I do do, uh, do do we do 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 this, don't we? <laughs> I do write astrology reports that tell you about your birth chart and your sign uh, for just thirty pounds. So get in touch. Anyway, that was the overall energy. Now we're moving into your emotional core. See if we can tell you more about um, what's coming up emotionally for the months of March for the sign of Aries. Um, so maybe they talk about you know trauma that can leave, or maybe about love. But this is about your emotions as such, right? Okay, for your emotions, you have the hawk. And it's quite simple. The hawk is saying, 
Whatever you feel, let it run through your system. The hawk uses the upthrust of the air to glide. So what they're saying to you is, go with the flow. Anything you feel, allow yourself to feel. Whatever it is you truly feel, so it can work through your system. Because another Aries thing is um, you're a doer, right? And while the world is dominated by doers rather than learners, right? Um, which is actually not a bad thing. Because you are a doer, you sometimes are quick to deal with other stuff and not necessarily truly take the time to look at your emotional core. But that's what the guides are asking you this month. And yet, at the same time, they're asking you, go with the flow, but do not stop whatever release um, and whatever healing is now ready for you, Aries. We're looking at the month of March. This is Thomas's tarot page. This is your energy and star sign reading for the sign of Aries. And now we're going to the last final part, which is and are your, uh, is your opportunities. Let's have a look um, if opportunities and how opportunities can represent or present themselves to you. I can't speak. Can present themselves to you this month. Now, you have the horse and the elephant for the topic of opportunities. And that means that opportunities, while you want, energetically speaking, uh, for things to happen, the horse is very similar to the cat that you had in your overall energy in as, in as far as the horse is saying, every now and then I need to run free. I'm running free. Right? So when it comes to opportunities, when they come to you, when you feel like, oh, is this something for me? Try to detach yourself a little, right? Stay away from too much temptation, right? Maybe if it sounds too good, it is too good, that kind of stuff. And then you have the elephant, especially um, the, the animal guide that literally tells you, <clears throat> when opportunities come to you, remember one thing, no matter what the universe is sending you, they would not send you, and they will never send you anything that you cannot handle, right? So if you're looking for new opportunities and you kind of feel maybe in the area that you are normally or usually work in, it has become stale and you don't necessarily want to, want to continue there. And what the universe is saying, you don't have to, right? You will just have to realize that, you know, uh, starting over ha can have a few drawbacks. And the drawbacks are, you know, you start something new, which means you're not quite as adapt yet. Um, so therefore, you will probably have a little uh, less money to begin with. But all the universe is saying, that's just until your energy, until the energy finds you. Um, so ultimately, the universe will sustain you, whatever it is you do, right? Don't feel bound to one particular area, right? <clears throat> wow, that's all I got. It was a very short reading for Aries. But then I only work here, it is what it is. <laughs> You're watching Thomas's Tarot page. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. And I see you all very soon. Bye bye.